Hey everybody, this is Hank from Hey Hey Hank Collectibles, and I'm back with the second beta sorcery booster box opening. I'm looking forward to cracking this open. We had a pretty good first box with uh, some unique foil distribution, and uh suggest you go and watch that one as well. But for now, we're going to get going into this box. I'm very interested to see the new curios in the set. So hopefully we have a surprise in here. I'd also like to see the new Frazetta Arts firsthand. We have our sorcerer pack here. It has a rebel and art token and uh three other tokens. We're not gonna open this one up in this video. Alright, pack number one. Alright, I see a glimpse of foil in here. Let's see how lucky we can get on our first pack here. We got a Grim Reaper unique. Very nice. It's my first Grim Reaper. Drought. Drought foil. Take a look at this. Draw exceptional aura of desperate dearth. Very nice. That on the sleeve. Pack number two. Giant shark, gonna get ya. Monastery gargoyle, abundance. That's a great card in our elite slot. Keep going. Lord of the Void unique. That guy. Seeing a lot of new stuff here so far in these beta box openings that I didn't see. The Alpha. Very good. I'd love to complete a beta set. I probably will complete a beta set. And then once I'm done with that, complete an Alpha set as well. Hopefully. Unique. Put that up there with the Grim Reaper. Obispin, Pikeman, Backstab, Spear of Destiny. A unique weapon, unique number three. Let's go. Doomsday Prophet unique. Very nice. It looks like all ordinary sphere. Ooh, there we go. Our first core. Our first beta core. Awesome. Go. I'm happy about that. I gotta complete another set because I don't plan on playing with my alpha ones. Core number one. In the books. 
that is a sweet hit. The ordinaries in the rest of this pack, and let's get a piece down. I know they like they like to pump together an alpha. Saw quite a few boxes where the will core and have a stone in the same box. So let's see if we can get that going. Cult ritual. Unique. Actually. Unique as well. I'll keep that over there. Let's go. Far East Assassin. I got quite a few uniques so far. For the first third of this box. Let me know in the comments if you prefer the idea of the pack trick on these packs, where we uh, put the rares and unique in the back, or the elite slot rather. It's an angel's egg. The place that I paid a angel's egg, so I have that now. When we're looking through those ordinaries. We're looking for non-ordinaries. In there, because that's usually the sign of the curio. Now we go through very slowly. Magellan Globe Elite Relic. This is my first beta or alpha of Magellan Globe. It's very nice. That one allows you to basically connect the uh, edges of the realm. It's pretty good in Pathfinder. You get freedom of movement. Ooh, Mud Flow, exceptional foil sight. Interesting one. Can't really make out the art with the foiling on this one. Flip it over. Alright. I think that's just the art in general for this one. The foils do still have the raised texturing. Which is very nice. Next up, Battlefield, play Mad Art, Ooh. the Foil Exceptional Sight, Shifting Sands. Very nice. Keep getting new foils. I think it might be more attainable to get a foil set of beta than it was for alpha. Tragedy Hori War. Sky Baron. Finished the first third of the box and it was pretty good. Give the ref mix air. Very nice. A third of the mixer now. Mm. 
win now. Dual sight. Chains of Prometheus Elite. All ordinary thing. More trinket. Elite real remnants. Luvian Kraken was our elite in that pack. Skirmishers of Moo, Dwarven Forge. Go, Beta. Very nice. All right, here we go. Mordric Druids. Oh, ordinary is there, it looks like. These packs are not opening very well. Looks like the layers are so far as assassin number two. Yeah. Twins. Next pack. Windmill number two, and a Screaming School. Elite Relic. All right. Next pack. All-terrain vestments. Elite armor fit for any adventure. Let's go. Yeah, the color definition on the beta set definitely looks to be different from alpha, at least from my recognition. I'll have to go back and do some comparison. Yokai Kappa's Elite Beast imperil this pond. Stay away from that pond. All right. Is there a foil in here? Looks like there is. Watchtower. Very nice. Okay. Violence. I think I have a place set of the new art now. Oh, I have several place sets by the time I'm done opening here. Our fourth foil of the box. Got two more on the right hand side here. Yeah, so these packs don't seem to be separating the uh, art layer from the foil layer. Interesting. Sorry about that. 
Chaos Twister. So that's still in the set. I'm guessing that Eric's Curious is the one alpha card that got cut out of the set list. Updraft Ridge. Well. Foil number five. Fireball. Silver Valkyries, Elite Angels, Old Constant Vigil. All ordinaries there. All right, we're coming up on the final third here. So, interesting. It's like pushed over like this. Must be. Looks very different. If that has any effect on the. Oh. It has no. Oh, come on. Find the scene on that one. Yeah, okay, so you see how like the art layers separating from the floral layer there. Magnetic muzzle, elite relic of disquieting silence. The cut looks. Just me, or does that cut like a little bit slanted? It might just be me. Oh my God. All right, next pack. Ascalon Phoenix, elite beast of candescent splendor. Ooh, a backwards card. Very nice. It's a boil. I'm gonna leave it backwards. Another violent. Here we go. Mask of Mayhem. All right. On to the next one. Immortal Throne Unique. This is our eighth unique of the box. The Immortal Throne. A unique mon monument to life everlasting. All right, on to the next pack. On to the next one. Um, we're still looking for some foils here. If the first box is any indicator. Oh, there's an oasis. Our first oasis of Ada. Unlikely Alliance. Elite Magic forges a strange coalition. Coalition. Alright. How many more packs do we got here? We've got... Seven more, it looks like. Let's go. What else is in this box? Zero, Scrum and Mass. 
Philippe Beast, Beast wriggle and writhe. No, thank you. So ruins. We'll say. Elite mortals, polar explorers. That's new for me. Elite mortals on an icy expedition. Allied units here can move as if the top and bottom edges of the realm were connected. Turns all your guys here to polar bears. Very nice. Alright, which are out? Unlikely alliance number two. Foil Gothic Tower. It's foil Tower number two. Second different one as well. I like that. So take a closer look. Very nice. Four packs left. And strong. Seer. Seer number two. Leap attack. Exceptional magic of savage salvation. Our foil. I love the art style on this card. Gadu des Duaso. Kudos to you. All right, last three packs. Grave Golem, Squirm Mass number two. Swamp Buffalo. Swamp Buffalo full art on the back there. Love it. Whoa. Three exceptionals. Mordric Druids. A lot of duplication in this box. Ooh, foil viola. I'll take it. Actually, a pretty nice foil. Very nice foil. Very vibrant. He has legs. Don't know what I was expecting. Very nice. What else is hidden here? What's that in the background? Like a treasure chest or something. And the text box. Very nice. All right, let's pack. Wicked Witch Elite. It's another Violent. It's a sauna definite playset. All right, this was a very nice box. Let's get these commons packed away. Yeah, 
really quick. And we'll do a quick review for our uniques. We had the main head of the box, Amethyst Core. Three more cores to go, and a stone. We got our second seer. We got Immortal Theron. Occult Ritual. Doomsday Prophet. Spear of Destiny. Lord of the Void. And Grim Reaper. Very nice. We got our foils here. And a foil violent. Very nice foil in person. It does not showing up on camera. It is very nice. Got Swamp Buffalo. Show you the back of the violent again. Got Leap Tech. Monsters be down the textbook. Gothic Tower. I believe we just need the Dark Tower to get a foil set of them. Got Updraft Ridge. Beautiful artwork. Got a Watchtower. Shifting Sounds. Mudflow and Drought. All right. Thank you all for watching the second box of our beta opening journey. The second of many more to come. I will be planning to do a live stream uh, opening at least a case. Uh, here within the next few days and i'll also be doing a metagame review with some of the decks that i played during the alpha period as well as a review of some of the tournament performing decks uh, from the alpha period for anybody looking to build decks now that the masses have access to the boxes at affordable prices um, we'll be having some more associated content on the channel so I appreciate you watching. If you see any cards here in this video that you're interested in, uh, the major the vast majority of them will be listed on my various uh, stores, uh, including on TCG Player and eBay, both under Hey Hey Hank Collectibles, and on my new website at hhhcollectibles.com. So go ahead and drop on there. I also do have booster boxes for sale at, for uh, this weekend at $135 a box. So if you're interested in buying some beta boxes and Go ahead and pop on over there and take a look at what I have for sale. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody's time here. Go ahead and pre leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like. I'll be back with some more videos. And until then, take care. Bye.